we are recording. Hello. Hello. What's our business plan for today? Uh, cracking on with Scribe and the Doctor. Mm-hmm. And to start off with that, I thought uh, maybe let's uh, let's cover a little bit what's what we've got so far. So after all the outlining and all the faffing, what we have is that Codex has landed. No immediate threats detected. Commence field pre preparations. After this, uh, Scribe hooks up his suit to the ship systems. He dumps the suit's internal data. He will perform a uh, pre-mission checklist diagnostic thing which will allow us to conveniently point out uh, s certain functions that the suit has. Then uh, we shall move on to the first area that he examines. The fractal swirls of the gas giant filling half the horizon sent Boozy Ghoul and Flicker down the dirty drone. So this is the sort of scenery setting point here. Moon base, made to look like public place, but upon closer uh, inspection it's obvious, obviously not what it is. So this is where Scribe will learn from his observations that not everything is right in this place. For example, he observes that several workstation workstations in the port area are literally identical and can't possibly be real workstations. Like, I am... Um, uh, we're speaking like uh, free red pencils and, and paper clips in the exact same formation. That that sort of thing. But in the future. Space. And then comes the point where he learns that there is somebody else there. Or like, uh, not, not just somebody, but one of the existing life signs gets snuffed out. And then Scribe stretched the muscle that linked to the sensor control. Controls, controls, uh, something, something override. Uh, the view didn't budge. Then a sweeping rotation, and Scribe found himself staring into the the bloody grin. So basically, this is where Sixteen has caught his external sensor, one of those, and is crushing it between his teeth, which should give some really nasty uh, st static feedback stuff. Mm -hmm. And now comes the part that we have worked out recently, well almost worked out. Uh, first encounter. You! Intruder! The booming words made Scribe pull deeper into the shadows. I know you're there. I find you. Sooner or later. Scribe sent another sensor probing the next area while taking quick notes. A survivor, possibly hostile, language use indicates he might originate from the region of interest. The sensor view showed him a human male figure, naked and bald, some tubing dangling from the back of his neck. The figure tilted his head. I hear you. I hear your buzzers. And I am quite fast. Before Scribe had a chance to react, the naked man darted forward and enclosed the second sensor into his huge palm. I want out. You have a ship. Come out. I will behave. He released the sensor and stepped into a better illuminated spot. Uh, Scribe makes his way out. Blah, 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 blah. Very well. We can talk. But first, I need something from inside this facility. Uh, okay, the stranger, instead of stranger, we should say the naked man or something. The naked guy launched into an agitated diatribe, poking at the side of his head. Scribe gave him an exaggerated nod. I see, I see, your earworm doesn't work. This is the part that we have already read. This is where we find out that his name is Sixteen. Ja! Dexish! Sixteen! Yes. A radiant, 
a radiant smile broke through the gore caked on the naked man's face. We talk! <laughs> and now comes the part where uh, there are many, many fragments down here. So by the end of this scene, they need to establish that uh, uh, that one of them wants out of this place, the other has a ship and also the other wants something from inside of this facility and in exchange uh, is willing to uh, let the, the local into his ship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you do I will let you ride my shop out of here. Shop? <laughs> ship! <laughs> <laughs> Not in so many words. And the main thing in this uh, uh, section is that their uh, their communication, while verbal, should be limited because uh, either neither of them are speaking their native language, or uh, or at least a scribe isn't a scribe is spe speaking foreign to him. Mm -hmm. So it's it could be that. Uh, his comprehension level sets the uh, sets the level for them both, and this is where they start uh, stumbling over the bodies that, 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 that they had made. <laughs> yeah, so they had made past some stuff <laughs> and were reaching farther into the scenery, nearing the access point to the facility. And 16 has shown the way past the fake mundane scenery. Uh, they stumble upon a potty and uh, a scribe takes a note. Wonder if this was li life sign number three. Oh. Let me try another way. Wonder if this is where life sign... This... What are words? <laughs> the, the, this... Life sing. Life song. <laughs> <laughs> sign. Free. End it. Scribe made an effort to suppress the worry in his voice. You killed him. Yes. Others? Sixteen sounded proud. Killed them too. All who didn't run. Not to worry. Bad people. All 500? 16 stop, stop to face. Uh, so, are we using scribe as a name? Like, are we using him with a capital or are we saying the scribe? Hmm. I have been using it as a name. Mm -hmm. Like, but as a nickname. So I still... I still capitalize Nux, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the way I was looking at mm -hmm. it. Then again, scribes are like a whole guild of people, mm -hmm. like a whole job. It's more like a thing. job title, right? Yeah. So, so maybe it should be the scribe. Mm -hmm. I will put a mark here just as a reminder. I like this. Sixteen stopped to face the scribe and they emphasized his words with his hand. Hands. Pensta? Five hundred? Ja, pensta. Five hundred. Record says five hundred in here. So this is one of those points where I have tried to uh, make it clear that when they are verbally speaking, both of them speak slow and not with big words. Mm -hmm. Sixteen burst into laughter and slammed his huge hand onto Scribe's shoulder. Record error! Only dozen bad people here. Some not so bad. They escape. Scribe nodded with a frown. I see. Wait. Bridi. And this is where he added some notes to his, uh, to his thingy and uh, adding the notes will result in some flowery, flowing English text which we haven't written yet. Scribe looked up from his notes. When did all this happen? Or wh oh, when this happen? 
Not certain. I sleep three times since. And from here on they are moving and from here on <laughs> we <laughs> we have uh, uh, we have some very fragmented uh, this is uh, I wouldn't say outline this is more like the skeleton of an upcoming mm. dialogue so 16 asks why did you come here S 16 this mission what you look for scribe I need list list of people people disappear 16 how this news <laughs> scribe they disappear in big numbers one area on ground uh, on ground also wrong foreign word wrong for foreign word for space station mm -hmm. <laughs> like weather balloon <laughs> and 16 is like what you what mate <laughs> <laughs> and and this is where I will insert some word salad to convey that he's speaking about space station and then 16 should stay say the right word ah yes what area scribe by email system by how else you call it and scribe uh, uh, taps into his databases and he he asks is it Pushtan Kerul Engena Bumba Hosilis no wait Hosil Hosilsis Bereshek Bereshek yeah I come from there <laughs> 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 so there's there's uh, there's some more word salad thing going on here. Oh, and actually we have a bunch of stuff for scene four as well. Uh, mm -hmm. So scene four is when they are already inside the facility. They have broken through some uh, jam door, I think, or or they will break through some da jam door. 16 wedges, one open door. Oh yeah, can you open this? 16 only grinned and wedged his thigh between the malfunctioning blast door. And this is where we observe that uh, the environment is mostly safe. And 16 concurs that it is safe for them. <laughs> uh, scribe puts his uh, sensor box into their docking docks and notices that the electronics are not all all the way working and uh, he will proceed to ask what caused this do you know 16 folded his arms and frowned not sure I wake there is there is pain pain from within the system malfunction I feel I feel containment has weakened, so I break it. Others break containment too. He frowned at harder. Uh so we have we have already said that some got out. So maybe they got out. They got out, I think, but not the guards. His bloody dream flashed again. <laughs> Without the master program, the guards don't fight so well. Master program? You mean an A? Oh, okay, so this is... Ah, uh, okay. Uh, we need to adjust the language here. Make this a note. Uh, scribe takes note. Word salsa. <laughs> oh, even better. Mm -hmm. Word salsa. <laughs> AI. 
runs this place. Runas this place. <laughs> Runas is a name for a character I have not written yet. Surely. Uh -huh. yeah. That's one of those. <laughs> you ain't. Grab Sorry, away. Sorry, I've stolen that. This is this is how we come up with so many words and so many names. Mm hmm From the typos. <laughs> oh, it's again it's it's like biology really. The <laughs> errors give way to mutations, the mutations give way to new traits, the new traits uh, build up into uh new characteristics, into new species, etc. etc. <laughs> It's all natural, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like Benny saying that then. <laughs> Ring a ding ding. Six, oh wait, uh, not certain. So at this point we are in the territory where we have some text that is almost serviceable text mixed with uh, fragments and mixed with dirty notes. That's that's the scariest thing when this happens, like when you're using uh, a known environment, a known interface, and you accidentally tap into some command that you don't know <laughs> even exists, or what it does, and you have just stumbled upon some key combination mm. that does all those advanced things that you have no idea about. <laughs> I can't remember what it is, but if you press a really common key press, I think it might even be Control Shift and C in Discord. It brings up all the hot keys. But obviously, I use Control Shift and C for copying over information and stuff like that a lot of the time. So mm -hmm. that's a pain in the ass. Oh no, I use Control Shift V to paste it without formatting. Yeah, and I think one of those two com combinations leads to shit popping up that you don't need. Ugh. Okay, so the the dialogue here needs uh, making cruder, but basically I think we have the everything that they talk about in line. He picked some fried mm. components out of the way. Scribe bent down for a closer view. Nope. Again, um, what would be the word for what the, what I'm doing with the text? Clunkifying. Yeah. Good. Clunk clunkify is better than crudify. Clunkify. Clunkify. <laughs> Clunify. Clunkify. Yes, that is a word. George Clooney is not is not happy as us clunifying things. <laughs> oh, and apparently there is a word chunkify, or at, at least there is in Google. Sixteen usher scribe past the broken equipment. Sub level further underground. Shielded. He pointed at the reinforced hatch with colourful warning labels. We climb now. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Okay, so we don't need this anymore. Mm. I would say that scene four is more or less, uh, more or less covered. It just needs making into proper text. Mm -hmm. So, scene five, the part where the doctor awaits, awakes, is a little bit uh, not there yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, we but but. We do have like a buttload of proper text here, <laughs> or like proto proper text. Okay, so scene five kicks off with our pair of jolly co conspirators <laughs> reaching uh, the facilities inner sanctum or, or data vault thingy and uh, by the end of scene 5 the AI also called uh, the doctor mm -hmm. or just a doctor I don't know yet uh, will be activated but uh, during scene 5 everything seems quiet, like the guys should talk something about uh, uh, the data, something about Scribe's mission, something about the region where people have been going missing in great numbers. Yep. They're having a chat. <laughs> <laughs> This doesn't help me much. I need I need skeleton text. Mm. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> Synthetic voice sounded from all comms and all interior lighting switched on. So, you the data jockey who so boldly intruded my realm. <laughs> <laughs> who has so boldly intruded my realm. a little bit for the next one as well. Some skeleton here, yeah. yeah. Doctor, it's the master program. It's back. <laughs> I never left, my dear boy. You understand me, yes. How could you not? After all, I am one with this place and this place is one with you. <laughs> uh, this is a this probably needs some uh, some further tinkering, but the idea is that even without the uh, linguistic uh, aid uh, thingy uh, the AI can perfectly communicate with the specimen implying that uh, that there's some other implanting and or biotech and or mutation stuff going on mm -hmm. Some back and forth with the doctor until he turns nasty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think let's uh, our our work seems to be lying in scene five and six today. Mostly. Okay. What do you say? Shall I bank this recording? Yeah, sounds because good. Because we have given a nice overview about the works we have done, and now the uh, dirty work starts. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. See you soon. Bye.